Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you a simple free way to run DeepSeek on a Mac. And this is by far the easiest and quickest way to get DeepSeek running. And DeepSeek of course is the chat AI bot and it's completely free to use. You can download this onto your Mac. You don't need the internet to run the chat bot AI. You don't need to pay for any subscriptions. And this video today, I'm gonna to show you the quickest way in order to do that. We're gonna be using an application called LM Studio, which is free to download and use. And we'll be downloading the DeepSeek AI chat bot to run on your Mac. So so the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the lmstudio.ai website in order to download LM Studio. And this is the one that we want to download for Mac. So I'm using an Apple Silicon Mac, so an M series Mac, this is an M3 Max chip. And this is the one that we want to download. So just click on this link here and it's going to go ahead and download this into our downloads folder. And then just click the allow button here. That's going to download this DMG file into our downloads folder in Finder. And this is the ARM64 version. So that just means that it's been optimized for the ARM Apple Silicon chip. So now what we're gonna do is to minimize this. I'm gonna to go to our Finder icon, click on this, and then we'll go to our Downloads folder. So within our Downloads folder, we'll have this DMG. So we'll double click on the ARM64 DMG. Then this is LM Studio. So we're gonna drag and drop this into our Applications folder. So within Applications, we're gonna go and click on Finder here. And uh, I put mine in the list, you might see yours as icons, but I prefer mine as a list. I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down until we find LM Studio, and then double click on this. And it's gonna say that we are verifying, and this is an app downloaded from the internet. Press open. So now this is open, we can go ahead and click get your first LLM. So click on this. And then it's default asking us to download DeepSeek R1, the 7B version. So this is quite a small version, only 4.68 gigabytes. We're gonna click on this download for 7B, but we can also download the more sophisticated versions which are much larger. But uh, I'm gonna let this one download so that you can get a taste of it. It's gonna be relatively fast. So once that's fully downloaded, all we need to do now is press start new chat. And here's just warning us that this is automatically gonna start when we load. Don't worry about that. And here we can close this window, just saying that download is completed. And here what I need to do is to select a model to load. So at the top here, just click on this button and then we have DeepSeek R1 7B. So click on that and then click on load model. And then I can type in here, what model are you? And it's gonna confirm that this is DeepSeek R1. I am DeepSeek R1, an AI assistant independently developed by Chinese company DeepSeek Inc. And uh, here I'm just gonna show you that this is working completely offline. So uh, I have my Wi-Fi turned off. And if I go to network here, I'm just gonna disable my uh, connection. And uh, you can also show that this is using GPU. So if I go to window here and then go to GPU history, now I'm gonna ask DeepSeek, write a 3000 word essay about China's history. So in a moment, you're gonna see that this is thinking, but GPU utilization has gone all the way to the top here. You can see that first line on the right and uh, it's thought about things and then it's used the GPU. We are not connected to the internet at all. It's all doing this locally on this computer. You can see the RAM usage, CPU usage here, and uh, it's punched out a really good essay that looks quite significant. And, uh, you know, we can ask it questions like, is Taiwan an independent country? And, you know, it has its biases as well, which is quite interesting. It's thinking again, thinking even harder than before on the top right here. And... Uh, Okay, so it's talking about complexity and nuance. Okay, this is quite balanced view. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. And next, if you want to download another model, all you gotta do is click the discover button here and then you can type in your search. So if you want DeepSeek and you want the more sophisticated version, there are plenty of versions here. For example, if we type in DeepSeek R1 and then we move this to the right, 
you can find other more sophisticated models which are larger and consume more system resources. So a lot of people recommend this one. This one uses 37 gigabytes, which is the 70 billion parameters. Basically, the larger the parameter number, the more kind of accurate and more satisfactory the results are going to be. So for example, 32B, you can just download this. And uh, once this has downloaded, then we can select it within our model here. So once that's done, we can open up a new chat and then select the model that's been downloaded. Anyway, that is how you go ahead and run DeepSeek easily using LM Studio on the Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.